What is up friends and welcome back for another episode of House of the Dragon. Cannot wait to get into another episode of this show because the first two have been so good so far. I've loved every minute and I don't know if in this one we're going to get another time jump because obviously that was a big surprise in the second episode going about half a year into the future from where we started. But whatever time period we start in in this episode, things are not looking good for Viserys and his house. He obviously alienated so many people with that move at the end of last episode and so his days of power may be numbered because of the team ups that have already happened because of that and so hopefully you enjoy watching along with me for this episode and if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the videos out and of course full length reactions are available on patreon link for that in the description below but without further ado let's go ahead and get into episode three Are these the crab feeders again? Did they burn another ship and crew? House Valerian is coming for you! No, 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 please! Ah! Ah! So brutal, bro. <laughs> that thing's mask is so creepy. Your whole mother and bastard father out! Ah! Ah! Oh, going straight for the face. We got a name though, Prince Drehar. Oh, bro, what a shot. That is amazing. Brutal, man. This is shot so well, though. Looks incredible. Makes sense that Damon wouldn't even pay attention to people who need to be saved here. That dragon is a beast. People just evaporating left and right. At least Damon's taking action though, not just sitting back like Viserys. I love the little low hum music that plays every time we see him though, Drehar. What a way to start off the episode, my goodness. Didn't think it'd be that easy to kill the crab feeder. He has your hair, your grace. <laughs> Your eyes, your grace. Yes, he does. And you have my nose, don't you? Two years old, and already our boy has a kingly presence. We skipped ahead two years. Are you kidding me? The time jumps are wild. We're quite a party assembled in his honor. And surely by the end of this hunt, we shall have more to celebrate. And what is that, pray tell? It is Aegon's second name day. It only remains for Viserys to name him heir to the throne. Wait, that's Aegon Targaryen? That is a name I recognize. I bring urgent news from the Stepstones. The crab feeder has dug in for siege on Bloodstone while his men sabotage our fleet under the cover of dark. Not today, Tyler. It's been three years. It can wait another three days. Always avoiding talking about it, man. I'm impressed that his kingdom is still intact after all that time, though. Can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might be? The dragon's eye under the dragon's eye. Hey man's got a good tune going right there. Not sure Rhaenyra really wants anything to do with her father right now. Lost her claim to the throne. <clears throat> she fled with her ships, her heart broken for those. Oh man, she's pregnant again. What if it's another son? Then it just keeps getting worse and worse for Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra? Yes, my queen. Your presence is wanted in the outer courtyard. The royal hunt ready to depart. Decided to remain here and read instead. Their relationship is so cold now. So much changed in just one episode. The king wishes for you to join us. The king has much to celebrate. He does not need me. Perhaps the hunt could be fun. Is it the king's command? Yes, but it... Then at once, your grace. None of it needs be this way in truth, Rhaenyra. 
Man, I'm pulling for Rhaenyra to somehow get back in a position of power. She was killing it for a while. You should ride out with me today. Join in the chase. How would you like to participate? I'm not sure why I must. Because you are my daughter, and you have duties. As I am ceaselessly reminded. You would need to be reminded. No one's here for me. Oh man, that cuts deep right there. All the relationships are so strained now. Hopefully this boar hunt isn't as deadly for Viserys as it was for... His name's Robert Baratheon, right? Been a while since I've said his name. Hey, well, the people still love him. Gotta give him credit for holding it together. Love how packed these set pieces have been this episode. My lord husband says that no king has ever been able to tame the stepstones for long. Perhaps the princess can give us some insight. Your dear uncle is the great mind behind this war. I wouldn't know. I've not spoken to Damon in years. Since you supplanted him as heir. Damon made his choices, Lady Kira. The princess was more suited to the royal. She can say that all she wants now, but it's hard to know if she's telling the truth or being sincere. The crown is at war, princess. We've been dragged into it by your uncle and the sea snake. And how have you served the realm of late, Lady Red Wine? By eating cake. <laughs> nice cut right there. Rhaenyra's not afraid to tell anybody off. I want the princess. Is your own second name there as grand as this? I honestly don't recall and neither will Egan. Lord Jason Lannister. I gathered that from all the lions. Do not trust this man. Never trust a Lannister. The finest honey wine you'll ever taste. Made in Lannisport, of course. Of course. But the best sport is to be found at Castle Rock. Have you been? Once, on tour with my mother when I was young. Be kind of cool if we got to see Casterly Rock again in this series. On a perfect day, one could see clear across the Sunset Sea. It must be quite something. Mm, I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but I do have the means and resources to build one. Why would you need a dragon pit? To house dragons, of course. I'd do anything for my queen. I felt that's where he was going with this, trying to make a move on Rhaenyra. I'm not sure she's looking right now. Would be quite the power dynamic though, Targaryens and Lannisters together. Is that what I am to you? A prize to proffer about to the great houses. You're of age, Rhaenyra. Jason Lannister is an excellent match. She's arrogant and self-serious. Oh, so he was the one who set it up. His attitude towards her has changed so drastically. You've refused me at every turn. That is because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. Excuse, Excuse me, Your Grace. Oh, that is so awkward blowing up in front of everybody. I really thought they'd made progress with each other last episode. The stag is the king of the king's wood, Your Grace. A regal portent for Prince Aegon's name day. <sighs> Kristen looks like such a boss with that armor. Princess, wait! Man, she is booking. That looks cool with the oars moving so fast. At least somebody seems to care about her feelings. Princess, slow down! The cinematography in this episode has been incredible. I love it so far. Surprised he managed to catch up to her. She was going like Mach 3. Was I named heir to the Iron Throne so that I might only further raise the standing of a Lord of Castle Rock? Do you want me to kill him? <laughs> I like Kristen. Shout out to him for actually talking to Rhaenyra like a human being. Were you ever betrothed? My station was never high enough for a formal betrothal. Before I spoke my vows as a knight of the King's Guard, I could have married a common-born girl, had I wished. How lucky you are to have a say in your own life. Many in the realm would gladly trade positions with you, Princess. Only because none of them has ever held my position. Very well said. I was just about to say, never as good as it looks from the outside. You held enough power to write my name into the White Book. When your father named me to his King's Guard, it was the highest honor any Cole had ever known. All that I have, I owe to you. Now, I'd hardly call that toothless, princess. Hey, I know we just got a lot of problems from Viserys marrying the wrong girl, if you want to call it that, but I wouldn't mind Rhaenyra maybe sparking up something with Kristen. Seems like a good dude. How far? The droppings were found half a league to the east. The beast is upward of 35 stone. We now have his trail. Before the dragons roared over Westeros, White Hart was the symbol of royalty in these lands. 
<laughs> That's pretty intimidating talking about it like that. I've never been one for signs of importance, Your Grace, but if the gods did wish to show their favor. I'm not caught up on my measurements, but I feel like 35 stone is absolutely massive. I had this forged in the Golden Gallery in honor of Prince Egon. It's quite a thing. I hope it might provide the killing stroke against your white heart, King of the King's Wood. I mean, it looks like it could do the job, that's for sure. He doesn't seem to be as excited about him now after Rhaenyra refused his proposal. What I offer you, the crown and your daughter, is strength. Rhaenyra may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? If you were to name young Aegon heir. And when would I be doing that? Have your banner men questioned my choice of it? Oh shoot, is he actually going to stick with Rhaenyra? That would be a twist. I, 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 I did not decide to name Rhaenyra my heir on a whim. All the lords of the kingdom would do well to remember that. Thank you for the gift. Dude is such a good actor in this role, but that is such a surprise. Maybe that argument they had a second ago really brought him back down to earth. What do you make of Lord Jason's proposal? That man's pride has pride. You're not only Rhaenyra's father, you're the king. She'll do as you command. I bet Otto is partially the one who's pushing this marriage since he wants any opportunity to get his grandson in office. There is another choice beyond Casterly Rock. One perhaps you might be more comfortable with, one closer to home. Who do you have in mind? Prince Egon. This absolute madman, dude. What is wrong with him? It would cease the endless proposals for Rhaenyra's <laughs> hand. I came here to hunt, not to be suffocated by all this politicking. Dude is ready to blow at any second. That is such a messed up, twisted proposal. I think Rhaenyra would leave and never come back if her father asked her to do that. Do you wish to hear my opinion on the matter? Should I guess? You believe that your son, the strongest knight in the Seven Kingdoms, is the best match for Rhaenyra. Oh, he is so drunk right now. Feels like he's looking to antagonize anybody. Lainor is of pure Valyrian descent. He shares blood with your cousin, the Princess Renes, and he is the heir to the wealthiest house in the realm. It would do much to assuage Lord Corlys of any slights, real or imagined. I mean, I still don't think Rhaenyra would like it, but that's probably the most diplomatic prospect right now. Princess, I must make a final plea that we return to the camp. I'd rather prefer it here. His Grace is certain to be worried by your absence. His Grace could worry himself to death if he said lies. I mean, at the moment, it seems like he's doing that very thing. Haven't seen any evidence of his decaying this episode yet, though. Do you think the realm will ever accept me as their queen? I have no choice but to, Princess. Shoot, bro, I'm getting nervous. Who the heck would be out here right now or what? What if they run into the boar or whatever it is? This is shot like a horror movie, dude. What the heck is gonna jump out? I hope Kristen doesn't die here. Oh my gosh, dude, this is horrifying, man. <laughs> what a boss came in at the last second. There was a moment. What a cut, man. What excellent imagery right there. Rhaenyra taking out all her aggression on that thing. I was gonna say, though, there was a moment there where I'm like, are they really gonna kill off Rhaenyra, surprisingly? I named her to protect the realm from Daemon. I named her heart of love. Many in my line have been dragon riders. Very few among us have been dreamers. Amazing line right there. When Rhaenyra was a child, I saw it in a dream. A male babe wearing the Conqueror's crown. I so wanted it to be true. My obsession killed Rhaenyra's mother. I thought Rhaenyra was the way out of my abyss, that naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. I would have a son. Man, the shots in this scene are incredible of the lighting. I love getting to see deep inside his mind right now. He's letting it all out. Oh, 
Oh, what imagery there. Perfect timing for him to sound the horn, though. What if they say that Rhaenyra was the one who killed it? I feel like that would change the public's opinion on her station. <laughs> May not be white, no grace. Things a big lad. Oh, so that's what they were hunting all this time. I was thinking it was a boar before, and that's who the other two ran into. That thing is massive, though. That is a lethal stab there, I think. It sounded nasty. The music is incredible right now, of the slow building. One more time, your grace. Put a bit to your left. Yeah! Dang, man, he got him. I feel like there was a lot more behind that hit than just killing an animal, though. I'm not sure what it could mean as far as symbolism or anything like that. Definitely feel like there's something there with the way the music and everything was going. Maybe it's because they were talking about... Oh, it's not white as they were calling it and how the legends had been. And so maybe that's symbolic of him killing his previous dream since it wasn't as he had dreamt before or foretold. Just a thought. Whoa, that thing looks so majestic. That's amazing. <laughs> such a beautiful rich storytelling right now i love everything they're saying beyond just what we're seeing Hey, <laughs> that guy respects it. I love Rhaenyra's look right now, though, covered in a bit of blood. An absolute force to be reckoned with. I feel like there's so much you could dig into with those moments, but I feel like in the case of Rhaenyra, actually killing the boar in battle says so much about her character and her attitudes compared to Viserys, who had everybody else kind of tie up and present the perfect situation for him to take credit for. How fared my grandson? He's the future of the realm. When you bore the king a son, you ended 15 years of uncertainty and doubt. If Viserys were to name him heir, the realm would fate him for it. And does this not please you? I think even though she has her own aspirations, and it seems like she does want a bit of position here, she still can see through her father's words. Rhaenyra will be a good queen. It wouldn't matter if she were Jaehaerys himself, born again. Rhaenyra is a woman. Would you have me raise a man to steal his own sister's birthright? To deny that he is heir to the throne is to assail the laws of gods and men. Well, I am happy to see that at least Allison isn't fully on his side. Otto just has his one objective. How are you feeling, husband? The gods have punished me for my indulgences. <laughs> That's a really funny phrase. I should start using that just in random conversation. I was hoping we might discuss something. Rhaenyra, she must needs marry a high lord who will honor her, defend her, and serve her as king consort. Her wishes in this matter are irrelevant. I do believe that Rhaenyra will marry your grace. It's gotta be so conflicting for Alicent, even though she's the queen to be a woman as well, to hear all this flack that is getting. Lord Corliss and Prince Damon are losing their war. This is a plea for aid. Then why not send it? Because it is a war started by two malcontents, unhappy with decisions I made. If I now provide Damon and call his sucker, what will that say of their king? He was talking about pride being bad before, now he's cursed by his own. If Damon and Corliss lose, the fight's gonna come to them eventually. I am forever doomed to anger one person in the pleasing of another. Then I pose a simpler question. Is it better for the realm if the crab feeder thrives or is vanquished? Make haste to Dwarfstone, Sir Alan. Hey, sounds like he agreed with what Allison was saying. That's some pretty wise words from her. Must everything be a battle? If you refer to attempt to marry me off to Casterly Rock. Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted? Because you mean to replace me with Alicent Hightower's son. Con him out right to his face, no fear. I do not seek to replace you, child. 
You've been much alone these last few years. Alone and angry. I wish to see you contented. You think a man would do it? A family. I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. Oh shoot, using his own moves against him. She's got a point. This family dynamic is amazing though. So interesting. As to your match, make it yourself. Search him out. Find one that pleases you, as I did. Nice, love it. Even amidst all their arguing, they can still find a nice moment, some good common ground. I did waver at one time, but I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. Man, even though it seemed like he was off the path for a little while, Viserys is still staying strong. But even if that's his position, I still feel like there's plenty of people that would stop it from happening. We have 16, perhaps 18 seaworthy ships. 700 foot, some 60 knights. Our food quickly dwindles, save for what we can fish from the sea. We are faltering and the Triarchy knows it. We must press the attack. This is such an amazing shot. Look at all those forces. There's gotta be enough to take them down. We've strafed them on Dragonback again and again, but they just retreat within the caves. The crab feeder and his men have no reason to leave those caves. We must give them one, an offering of flesh to bait the crab. <laughs> Don't tell me they're gonna set up one of the dragons to be the bait. Can't afford to lose any. Show me the knight who will march into that helping nephew and I will show you a madman. Damon, he at least is fighting this war. What role have you played in this council, uncle, other than master of complaints? Enough, Leno. It's King's Landing. Oh, so that's Lenar. Interesting. Finally see him. Prince Damon, I bring word from his grace Viserys Targaryen. I love how all the music got really quiet, all the other sounds too. Don't tell me he refuses the help. They need it so badly. Damon is a menace, dude. Just causing problems for himself more than anything now. I have ordered 10 ships and 2,000 men to set sail from King's Landing to join the effort in the Stepstones. Though time and circumstance have seen us estranged, know that it is not my desire to see you fail in your cause. Oh, I see. So if they're already sending him, maybe he just did that out of anger that he failed and that his brother has to come back. What is Damon's play right now? Is he gonna try and surrender before Viserys can get here? Just to not give him the opportunity to win the war for him? Love that we're getting to see the crab feeder in more detail. This is very unlike Damon right now. They were talking before about Damon being bait though, so that could be what this is. Ah, oh, here we go. I knew it wasn't all that there was, or all it had to be. Oh, this is so cool. I've been waiting for another Game of Thrones style battle. Oh man, Damon is a beast, a one man wrecking crew. Let's go. I'm just waiting for a dragon to come out as well, or more soldiers at least. Oh man, bloody! Love the sound effects as well, all the arrows whizzing past as he fights. Oh 
Oh, those are some big shots right there. Everything was going well up to that point, but it makes sense eventually he'd get hit. No way he can take all of them on. There has to be a dragon popping up here shortly. Oh my gosh, man is getting overrun in the worst way possible. What a shot. Oh, let's go. We're going to get a full on battle here. I'm ready. Let's go, perfectly executed plan. And all of them are out. Oh, nothing better than watching a dragon just destroy people. Man just creeps back into his cave again. Love the scale of all of this though. Oh shoot, Damon's chasing after him. Are we gonna get a 1v1? They finally got the upper hand though. Didn't even need Viserys. This looks so cool, man. I love the orchestration of big shots like that. I don't think the crab feeders can recover from this. Oh, okay, it's Damon. For a second, I couldn't tell amidst the shadow. Does that mean he killed him? Oh man, sliced him clean in half, are you kidding me? What a boss emerging from the smoke like that. Man, what a close to that episode. Got some chills when it cut to black there. Both Damon and Rhaenyra getting covered in blood in this episode. That's such a power move though, taking action themselves even when they saw Viserys had sent all this help. This could actually come back to bite him even though he made the strategically right move I think by sending help to him. But if word gets out that Damon and Corlys won the fight without the help, then I think people will start to question if the King's aid is even needed at all and if Damon is the right leader. But I was glad to hear in this episode, even though it was up and down and especially after the end of the last episode, that Viserys still is on board for Rhaenyra being the heir to the throne because she's awesome. Well, this show just keeps putting out bangers week by week. We've got three amazing episodes to start off this season and I am shocked that the crab feeder was eliminated in episode three because the way they were building them up obviously we've taken some massive time jumps and so it's not like he was eliminated in the first battle that they experienced we just didn't see it all but still I am surprised that he was taken out so soon after he was introduced didn't even get to say a line or anything like that but I think that just goes to show how good the character design was for him that even in that short period of time already felt like a bit of a memorable villain and so if they're already removed I'm not sure who the next major threat is going to be it could just shift to fully more political conflict which I would love because that's always one of the best parts of Game of Thrones stories is the inner conflict between people vying for the throne but I'm sure it's not gonna be too much longer before another enemy like the crab feeders pops up wherever they come from and however scary they might be but I'm really enjoying all the characters that we've been focusing on so far and getting to see a little bit more 
from some of them in this episode, like Kristen, who'd been in a few scenes beforehand, but this is the first time we'd really seen him have a conversation with somebody, especially with no pressure of being diplomatic about things since it was only Kristen and Rhaenyra talking to each other. And so I'm feeling like that could be the direction it goes with those two is since Viserys gave Rhaenyra his blessing to marry whoever she wants that she could end up choosing Sir Kristen but she could still choose not to marry right now which I think is a fine option as well it's not like she needs to have someone powerful by her side or anything like that she's already showed how effective she is on her own like when she went and solved the situation in the last episode with Damon but I'm hoping that's not the only big battle sequence we get in this season because in the beginning and the end both those scenes I thought were filmed really really well and so I would gladly take more scenes like that throughout the season although that could be the major one that we get and it's more small scale stuff for the rest of the way and I probably still would be just as happy with that because all the smaller scale stuff has been excellent so far but I've really felt the writing is so strong in this series up to this point as I mentioned during this episode I feel like there's been so many moments specifically in this one that have had so much more meaning beyond what we're seeing and beyond what the characters are saying that you can kind of dig into and get a lot more meaning from if you wanted but I bet there's a lot of foreshadowing here that I don't even fully realize what it means yet since I haven't seen what happens next but it'll be interesting to look back on some of these moments maybe at the end of the season and see if they were warning us or giving hints as to what's coming up next but definitely seems like both Rhaenyra and Daemon are good candidates to lead although they have very different methods and personally I would hope that Rhaenyra is the one who eventually gets into power but it's Game of Thrones so anything could happen but they've definitely shown themselves to be I'd say better leaders or at least better fighters than Viserys who just has all these other people do things for him obviously when you're the king pretty much everybody wants that to happen and you kind of want to stay in the background so they don't have to choose a new king if you die or queen but he definitely has shown some areas of weakness that could end up being his downfall at some point but really really love this episode hopefully you all enjoyed watching along with me for it looking forward to your thoughts as well and if you did enjoy definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the videos out and of course full length reactions again are on patreon link for that in the description below but until the next episode look forward to seeing you all later peace